Hello everyone, this is CH Registry starting BCC first year in TSWR PDCW bond. Now let us know about the Deuteromycotina. Yes, it is placed. It is a subdivision of the family. Now let us go in order. Uh, Deuteromycotina is placed under division division Eumycota and it is placed under kingdom family. Let us come from the first onwards so that we will understand easily. Uh, generally what are fungi we know that fungi are highly specialized and non chlorophyllous heterotrophic and eukaryotic organisms which possess high fee by cell wall which is made up of chitin right next um, coming to its uh, uh, divisions classification that is a uh, fungi is divided into two divisions that is myxomycota and eumycota under the eumycota let us know what are the divisions are made okay I have told you that fungi is divided into two divisions that is myxomycota and eumycota. Under the eumycota, there are five subdivisions that is masticomycotina, zygomycotina, ascomycotina, and basidiomycotina and deuteromycotina. Now, uh, fungi generally reproduces asexually and sexually by spores. Now, masticomycotina produces zoospores. So, these are called zoosporic fungi and zygomycotina produce zygospores and ascomycotina produce ascospores and here basidiomycotina basidiospores right next here coming to deuteromycotina the fungi in which sexual stage is absent or not observed so far are placed in this group so these Deuteromycotina fungi are called imperfect fungi. So let us know now that Deuteromycotina species are uh, uh, how they produce new mycelium. Now let us take the example of a uh, Cercospora that belongs to the Deuteromycotina. Uh, let me give a brief intro of Cercospora. These are mainly saprophytic and parasitic form of species. These species are uh, cause mainly leaf spot diseases. Let us take uh, one example that is two species Circospora personata and Circospora uh, arachidicola. These uh, cause a tica disease or a leaf spot disease in groundnut. Let us know how the reproduction occurs in this uh, Circospora. Okay, uh, in the these Cercospora species reproduce asexually by the means of conidia from the long slender conidiophores. Now let us uh, we see how the conidiophores are developed. Uh, conidiophores are developed from the at the time of reproduction the intercellular hyphae uh, will be coming into uh, will be accumulate uh, and form accumulate under the epidermis and form a compact black or brown pseudo parenchymatous mass that mass is called stroma okay from the stroma the conidiophores are emerged out these are long thin wall unbranch okay unbranch conidiophores at the apex of the conidiophore conidiums are produced uh, at the apex of this conidium and the conidium is formed and the conidium is formed at its apex this process repeated several times and the uh, conidiums or conidium are formed on each conidium force okay these conidium after this are uh, several uh, repeated division, divisions the conidiums are formed on each conidiophore uh, at the time of detachment from the conidiophore conidium are dispersed right these leaves scar on the conidiophore okay these are dispersed by the uh, rain or winds wind so these are dispersed and form gem tubes under favorable conditions and these form new mycelium right let us take one uh, uh, brief uh, life cycle of this circospora so that we will understand easily circospora 
this form conidia force from this stroma is from this conidia for conidia produced and after the wind splash after the detachment germ tubes are formed and new mycelium circus pola i hope you understand this video thank you for watching and don't forget to like the video thank you